Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 5. Today is episode number 24. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Right, so today we are taking part in two different championships, and what I am going to be doing is I am going to be driving this McLaren MP412C. Uh, or dash one two C if you want to be uh pedantic about it. Um, and we are going to be uh driving yeah, this. Um, obviously we're going to be driving it. Um, but we are going to put max upgrades because I'm worried that we're going to be put against race cars. So I want as much power as possible out of this car before we go into the championship. And there's obviously we're going to take this car for two of them as well. Um, let's get that upgrade as well. We're going to have loads of power in this thing. Here we go. 652 so far. And this is only the engine part. We've still got our intake system to do. Uh, so let's get a racing air filter in there. Perfect. And a sports intake manifold. Yeah, 7 horsepower. It's worth everything. Um, let's jump to exhaust system. We're going to put in our titanium racing exhaust. Perfect. Uh, sports exhaust manifold. Let's get that in. And a catalytic converter as well. We're looking at 750 brake horsepower right now. Um, if it's anything, the cars that we're going against is judged off of what's on the cover. The car is actually, um... The car on the cover of this championship has 690, but it weighs 800 kilos. So hopefully, uh, with all these upgrades, why can't I fit? Why can't I fit these? Can I fit the carbon prop shaft then? Nope. Um, ooh, a fully customizable kit would be good. Yes, let's chuck that in. And then uh, for tyres, we're going to put in racing mediums. Um, and that should be it. And we have spent... We were at 560,000. We are now at 175. Uh, the car itself costs about 250. So if this car isn't good enough for the championship, I will cry. I genuinely will cry. Um, quickly, we're going to run... Here it is. Uh, show. Uh, let's go to tune in. 813 brake horsepower. That is a lot. Uh, so down to suspension. We've got the fully customizable kit. And I'm going to adjust the ride height. Down a bit, I feel. I feel like that would be good. And also I want... Uh, what is... Oh, so this is camber angle for the tyres. So, I want it to be maybe one degree. I feel like that would be good. Um, okay, cool. This is obviously me testing stuff out. I've not done proper tuning like this before. So hopefully it all goes in our favour for these races. Uh, and if it doesn't, again, I'll probably cry. Um, but let's go to the Gran Turismo All-Stars. We have five races to do. Let's do this. Oh, fuck off! Right, so we're not doing... Uh, the Gran Turismo All-Stars, mainly because uh, we went into the race and they were all like 700, 800 horsepower, like, beasts. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the po Polyphony Digital Cup. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but let's go into the race. Right, we are here at the Circuit of Madrid, first of all, and one thing I've noticed is we have a very wide variety of cars here. So we've got a... Camaro from 1969. Haha, <laughs> funny. Uh, we've got a Fair Lady Z, a Golf GTI. Uh, we've got our McLaren MP412 12C. Um, and a Lancer Evolution. 
Uh, we got a GTR and a Ford GT. So, hopefully, we should have the most powerful car here. And it should go in our favour. And there it is. There's the uh, McLaren. Right, come on then. We are here in Madrid. And off you go. Perfect around that corner there. Oh, listen to that engine. Some people might hate that sound, but I think it sounds pretty decent. This is just a simple circuit as well, so... The interior is very nice in this car as well. We obviously seem to have a extended rev range as well. This car is so quick compared to any other car we own. But we also spent 400,000 credits on it. Which is ridiculous. And I don't ever want to spend that much on a car again in this game. Without it actually being a useful car. Because that was a waste. <laughs> I could have just used the Ford GD, uh, GT again. GD? I can't speak. I got very frustrated with that last race though. Because I tried the first race on the Gran Turismo All-Stars Championship and I couldn't do it. It had no chance. This car was quicker off the line acceleration-wise, but then after a while it just... There wasn't any acceleration in it. Very quick times on this track, though. Oh, no, 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 no. What have you done? How have you managed that? Was not paying attention, then. So we're definitely not getting a fastest lap on this one. Or the last one. But hopefully final lap we might get a faster time we've got air time we've got a break before we get off the ground at that section I'm so looking forward, though, to um, Gran Turismo 6. I really am. Perfect. Oh, our rear tyres are getting really smoked up now really smoked up and we've only been going for about four minutes these tires were not designed to have this much power going through them that is the, a little bit of a problem with Gran Turismo is you want the most amount of power from a car but I think this car has way too much I'm surprised by that. How has an Impreza beaten an Aston Martin DB9? And the Fair Lady... Okay, yeah, the Golf GTI. Yeah, that deserves to be last. But the Fair Lady's got better than a Nissan GTR. What? How? 
physically how? That's not possible. But 32,000 and on to the next race. Right, so we are here at Trial Mountain Circuit and we are having a couple of flashbacks right now <laughs> from uh, the last championship where I absolutely cocked up. But hopefully with a slightly better, how do I say it, rivalry, um, we should be able to do this. This track is also <laughs> very tricky when you're trying to chase down other cars, but when you're in the lead, you sort of have control of the track, and you can sort of show the track who's boss. Because all you have to focus on is now the track rather than others. Oh, and this track, I think, as well. Is it somewhere here? It might be here. There it is. Up in that tree. There's a little monkey in the tree. It's like a little Easter egg. People don't understand why it's there. People don't know the significance or anything of it, so... And it's still like an unknown mystery. That is perfect. Literally though, all the cars were going so much quicker than me through those sections. Even whilst taking the corners really well. So uh, I think that championship will be done at a later date with a better car. Perfect. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Nice. The noises are necessary to prove that you're putting effort in. I do like this car though. I do wish one day I could own an MP4 12C. Um, I know where I live, um, the area in the UK where I live, um, there's about 150,000, 200,000 people living here in my city. And no, it's not London. Um, but I know there are two MP4 1 dash C, what, dash 1, ah, uh, fuck it. There, there's two McLaren MP4s around. There's two of them. And they are, I think, uh, one of them is black around here as well in the black color so exactly the same as this and it is nice it is a very nice car straight let's see how much speed we can get look at the acceleration of this with that extra horsepower Tires are crying out for help right now. Perfect. Do 
Trial Mountain is a good track, but it's difficult. Oh, it's difficult when you've got faster cars. I want to drive on this camera angle, but the smoking tires will put me off. Nice. Perfect. Oh, we got one more lap. I thought that was the final lap. Here we go. Right. Slowing down through here. I don't know why, but the MP4 was the last McLaren that I actually liked. Like, properly love the look of. The other McLaren sort of, they made them look too ugly and I didn't like it. Basically McLaren pissed in my cornflakes and I hated it. good time there. 7 minutes and 24.8. And we got a fairly decent chunk of money as well. And we are now moving on to the next race. Right, so we are here at the Grand Valley Speedway. We have 15.36 miles to do, uh, to drive, to race, uh, and hopefully... We'll see the Golf GTI being last in this entire championship. That's such a horrible thing to say. Hopefully the GTI loses. I still don't get why the Subarus and the Aston Martin are going up first. Because, like, they're the quickest cars. You would have thought the Golf would have gone first. Because it's last in the championship. But, nope. Very nice. Oh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Careful. Watch out for the risky corners going through here. I think after this championship as well, we're going to do the uh, Top Gear Challenge. The level 19 one. I'm interested to see what car that actually is, because we've, um, we had, what was it? The first one was the camper van, so that was really slow. Then we had a Lotus Elise. I'm hoping next we have, like, 
a super British tank like Aston Martin. Even though Aston Martin is mostly German now. I feel like having Aston Martin would be really cool. Try to overtake 15 other Aston Martins in a race. How the car managed to grip through that corner, I do not know. That was epic. I think our Ford GT probably will need like an engine rebuild or service at some point. The amount that we've driven it. And we are only three minutes into the race. And our tyres are already smoking. Hit the wall through there. Hit the wall. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Way too quick. Oh, -ho. I didn't see the second braking line. Here we go, slow for this corner. Let's get around there. I feel like we can leave it in fourth. Uh, but leaving it in fourth uh, gives us the risk of overshooting it. At least in third, we can moderate the speed a little bit better. Perfect. Here we go. Four, fifty-five. Time is looking very good there. I think this race overall is going to take about 10 minutes. So we are about halfway through. wide there again. On the second lap, we had that corner nailed.
I think one thing that Gran Turismo is lacking um, is the clutch physics. And that's something that should be in Gran Turismo, but it isn't. And I feel like that could change the game style completely. Um, obviously, Gran Turismo right now is a very good game. But, like, I feel like clutches would improve how the game feels and the realism towards it. Messed that one up as well. We were breaking way too early. than the previous. Um, so my aim for this lap is 1 minute 49. Somewhere around there. So we've managed to earn ourselves 32,000. Uh, we came first in the championship. How much money did we get overall? Okay, so we came first. 98,000. Uh, car hasn't made the money back. Right, so for this race, we're going to be taking this Volkswagen. I, I don't like the look of this. This is going to be slow as hell. And... We're going to have no chance of winning gold. But let's give it a try. Right, so we are here at the Top Gear test track for the advanced uh, Top Gear challenge. We've got to come first, third, or fifth. And there's only four gears in this thing, and it's slower than the camper van. I never thought I'd say that. It's slower than the camper van. And there's only eight cars as well. What? 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 What was that? They kept... I was not expecting those to come out of nowhere then. They were gunning for us. And we've obviously got two laps to do with this, so... We're probably going to bump into them again. to let him just get taken out by these cars coming now. Uh, 
Are they adding more and more cars onto track as time goes by? What are you doing? Go! Alright, I'm sticking it behind this guy. He's gonna break. But we don't need to break. That is how it's done. And we take that extra speed and squeeze past. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? And not being able to see where the cars are. You know that there are cars gunning for you. Oh, right, we're in first, we're in first, we're in first. Right, I think I'm going to change the camera angle so I can see what's going on around me. Oh my gosh, they're all behind. This is disgusting. I hate this. I hate it. They are so close. I'm gonna bump into this guy. No, nope, not quite. Okay. Woo -hoo. Oh. Oh my gosh, that is insane. Oh, that was the coolest challenge ever. Yes, we are actually going 40 miles an hour, but wow. That was so close each time. This track is a death track. It is a death track. I bet you if I went off the track then and just got disqualified. Oh my gosh, it would kill me. But, gold medal, first try. I am legend. I am the best. Beat me. Try and beat that. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. Oh, that was epic. How much money did we get for that then? 108,000, nice. I'm looking forward to the amount of XP we get for that as well. Not a lot. Great. Haha. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to go take a look in the description for links of socials and all sorts of other places. And also, we have finally got merch down there, so go check that out. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Run for your fucking life.